Hey guys, me back with another video. Y'all know what I'm finna do. And I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm eating today. What I'm eating today. What I'm eating today. Okay. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the food we eat. Lord bless those that do not have any. If it be anything in any of this food to do my body any hurt, harm, or danger, I ask you in the name of the most high for protection. Once again, Lord bless those that's not fortunate enough. Amen. 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 What's up, y'all? What's up out there in the land of the living? Listen here, y'all. This is what I'm having today. I'm just feeling kind of silly, y'all, so just look over here. But today I am having my crab legs. Y'all know I love the crab legs. My thumbnail. So, yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. So, <clears throat> crab legs, y'all. I got shrimp. I got me some sautéed scallop. They look a little light, y'all. I have to make them soft because, you know, I, have, I haven't dental, probably dental problems. So, I have to make them soft. But they done. They done. And, y'all, today I got me some vegetable rice. Hold on, come on here, big baby. I got me some vegetable rice, y'all. Carrots, peas, corn. It's actually yellow rice. Actually, it's curry rice. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's curry rice. I say yellow rice, but it's got vegetables in it. Mmm. I made me a little lemon salt, lemon butter, obey, um, 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 what is it? Roasted paprika. And I don't use salt, y'all, so I always find foods that give off its own salt. Y'all, before I go any further, I need for y'all to like, share, and subscribe my video, please. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading. Give me a big thumbs up and send a big hug with it. Y'all know I like hugs. Thank y'all for letting me come into y'all living room one more time and eat with you guys. I appreciate it. Y'all, this is my sauce. Look at there. It's my sauce. Ginger, onion, garlic. And then I basically just seasoned it to my taste, y'all. So, first of all, I'm going to put a little bit on here on my rice. Okay. All righty then. Uh, uh oh, I'm splashing stuff. Come on now. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, y'all know I always forget something, right? I thought I had it all together, baby. Mm -hmm. Babe, can you give me a pair of scissors out that drawer? You might have to look in. Oh, there they go right there. Thank you, dear. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. But that's all right. Just a little bit sweet though. I might use too much brown sugar because it's a little bit too sweet. Mm. 
Like I say, y'all, my, scall my scallops is done. I just made them softer than what I normally do. Mm. John, so hungry, I don't know which way to go. so difficult. Mm -hmm. ah. Thank my new subscribers. Appreciate y'all. We getting that number on up there. I really appreciate y'all. Keep it coming. All my ocean beauties out there, all my kings and queens, all my followers, and all my people all over this blessed world. I thank God for you guys every day. Every day. Mm. 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 I'm having me a little Coca Cola and a little water. Man, I've been waiting all day to eat. I should need to stop doing that. But if I don't do it, then I ain't gonna be able to eat like I want to. So I do it. Mmm. Oh, let me get me some shrimp. Y'all got some shrimp. Mm. To make you a little got some shrimp, y'all. They ain't the biggest, but I they taste damn good. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to get my guy to start cooking on his videos. Man, you're talking about a good cook. And he done been something everywhere in the world. Man. I have to get him walk away from the table sometime when he be done cook. He didn't want to make this rice for me. I have to walk away because I'll be busy as a house. He's a Jamaican. Yep. He just more of a quieter kind, I guess. Mm. What's this? Mm. Y'all, I watched a movie the other night, or last night. And it was about these twin sisters. 
it's about, I don't know why I don't use this. It's just about these twin sisters. They were living separate lives. One was living a life, a good life for the Lord. And the other one, she was out there bad, y'all. She was out there bad. They young, whatever. So, anyway, the good sister, that's how we're going to remember them, the good and the bad sister. The good sister, let's like say, going to church, teaching Sunday school, and, you know, just living her life the way she felt like God wanted her to live her life. So one day, they watching on the news. They watching on the news, and they see this girl. They looking for this girl for setting up a bank robbery. Well, as you know, the girl looked just, they looked just like the girl looked just like her. Looked like the good good girl. At this time you don't know they sisters now. But um anyway, so they all at a dinner at the family is given. And the news come on. And they flashed this girl picture on the news saying that the police is looking for her and she been in a lot of mess, basically. A lot of mess. So everybody looking at the girl, the school teacher, they looking at her like, what has you been doing? Because that looks just like you on the screen. So... She looking like, what the fuck? So anyway, they <clears throat> going about their business and doing what they doing. A couple of days later, here comes Michelle. They asked for the sister, the bad sister by name. They told her wasn't nobody there by that. But she, at that time, she wasn't there. They told her wasn't nobody there by that name. So, the sheriff, thinking that they lying to him or whatever, he asked everybody in the house to come out. He wants to see everybody in the house come out. So, the girl came out. Mm, Y'all, look at that. When she came out, police instantly drew his gun. Told her she was under arrest. For suspicion of bank robbery. Everybody looking at everybody like, when she had time to rob a bank and what's going on? So they arrest her, take her in for question. And um Wind up locking her up till they could get to the bottom of the story, I guess. Wind up locking putting her in jail. So now the bad sister is still in another state and they flash this girl being arrested that look identical to her. She couldn't figure that shit out. How can this be? She said, they always say you got somebody on the other side of the world that look like you. But that's too much of a coincidence. So she started doing some digging. The bad sister. Started doing some digging. Come to find out. The mama had triplet girls. She had triplets. One of them was born dead. What's left of the two girls. So they never told these kids that. Um, the good sister wind up being raised by the pastor and his wife. And the bad sister, her mama was a crack addict and all kind of stuff. Daddy been done walked off and left them. 
shortly after actually the adoption, them adopting her, he left. So she get to digging, digging, digging. She just tried to go to where her sister is. She knows she just couldn't pop up like that, but she was trying to see who was with who and who she could trust and all of that. So she wound up meeting this lady. And she told the lady the story. But the lady went online at the library and dug up and saw what she was saying was true. She said, that's my sister that's in jail. She innocent. She ain't did nothing. But in order to get them to believe that, I got to turn myself in. And she said she wasn't willing to go to jail for somebody she didn't know. But she said, my conscience, I just can't leave her there. So she get a lady the money to bail her sister out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. To bail her sister out. So the lady go and bail her out. The lady tried to forewarn her, though, to let her know what was going on, but it was too late. She saw the girl, and she could not believe it. She walked up to her. She was standing there. They were staring at each other, looking at each other and everything. She said, you look just like me. And she told her, she said, that's because we twins. She said, that was three of us. She said, we actually triplets. She said, but one of us died at birth. So she explained to the girl what was going on. The sister told her, I know. She said, I came soon as I heard it. She said, I already knew they had the wrong person because it was me they looking for. She said, but I didn't do what they said I did. So anyway, the sister stayed here for a while to time to go to court. Now, she's been having all this bad luck in her life. Just nothing. So I could understand her not wanting to go to jail. You're already just in turmoil. Don't know where your next meal going to come from, so you turn to crime, which that ain't the answer. But you turn to crime or whatever. That happens in a lot of cases. Um, so... They went and talked to a lawyer. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. Whatever that was, shell stuck me in my lip. Mm. Damn. Anyway. I ain't spoiling my story. They went to go talk to a lawyer or whatever. Not the bad sister. The good sister and the lady went to go talk to a lawyer to find out what had to be done, what did the sister have to do so they didn't clear this mess up. So he basically laid the law down, told her what was up. You want to turn yourself in. Time went on, they study messing with the other good sister. Um, calling on the phone, saying a little stuff to her, like, we know you got the money, just all kind of stuff. Well, she got she spent time with her sister. She knew her sister was good. And she knew her sister was living for God. So she decided to go and turn herself in, y'all. But the sister was there with her all the way. She stayed with her and everything. And, and um, the lawyer that they went to talk to earlier, after they left, he started doing some digging. Because he said the story, the story just didn't make sense to him. So he started doing some digging. Come to find out it was two or three other people involved. This girl was on the street. These people, other people took her in, basically. She was a child. 
took her in, had her stealing and doing all kind of stuff. And she was good at it. So when she seen the stuff about her sister, she basically was done with that life. And she was telling them, I got to go and see what's going on with my sister. They think she the one doing this. They try to talk her out of it like so-called friends do. Try to talk you out of it. But between God and her conscience, it wasn't going. So she turned herself in. The people that picked her up off the street um, found out where she was and what was going on because they was finna do another job. But she left for her sister. She wasn't going for that. So they wind up going there and one thing led to another and everybody came up dead, including the sister that was about to turn herself in. I just started shooting with the sheriff and all of them. And um, it went off. The sister was holding another so she was on the ground dead. Or dying. And um, it was sad though. All her life all her life, um, she done went through this mess. Not no doing of her own. And the mama was, the mama was, but them people that's, um, they think somebody watching them all the time. Somebody out to get them and it's a name for them. That's, that was what was wrong with the biological mind. She would run off. They showed back. She would run off on the kids. And when the kids try to talk to her, she'll start screaming like they trying to kill me. And I'm just, oh, man. The little girl went through a lot. The other girl was fortunate enough to get adopted by a good family. But that, that other sister, that baby went through something. She went through something, y'all. And it's crazy. You go through stuff like that and where life leads you and take you. And, yeah, you got sense enough not to do, um, you know, right from wrong or whatever. But when you a kid and you hungry on the street, it's cold and snowing. You ain't got nowhere to go. You, we could sit back and say that. But when you in that situation, that's a whole total different story. You can't say what you will or won't do. You might even say what you will and won't do. But you don't never know how deep the situation to get that you might have to change that statement. So, you know, I'm praying to God that nobody ever have to go through that ever in life. But it's real. Life throw all kind of curveballs. All kinds of curveballs. Some we catch, some we don't. Yeah, I'm getting full now. But I just thought it was interesting because of the love. When she found out she had a sister, that she was willing to give herself up just so her sister would have to go to that. You know, her sister was serving the Lord, so God wasn't going no way. So, yeah, y'all. So, that's my story. And I'm full. So y'all remember to like, share, and subscribe that video. I can't believe I stuck a, shrink, uh, a piece of that lobster thing in my lip. I know it's going to be swollen on one side. It's going to be full. Right here, up under there, I stuck it. I thought I had took it off, but I guess I didn't. But anyway... Into it. I'll put the doctor into it. It'll be all right. So I hope y'all enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Hit the notification bell. It ain't gonna bite you. So y'all know when I'm uploading. Don't hurt to show a little love, y'all. Like I always say, 
If you ain't got something kind to say to somebody, something that'll make their day, y'all ate almost all my food. I got one crab leg left. I ate all my food. Two shrimp and three shrimp and two scallions. I ate no rice. Man, right. y'all got to try that yellow rice. Or you could use white rice. I prefer yellow or brown. But you could use white rice, sprinkle um, a tablespoon and a half of curry powder in it. And um, what else? And get you some frozen vegetables. I like the frozen vegetables. Put some of them in there and let that stuff cook down. Man, that's some good rice. And I couldn't wait to try it. It just had the whole house smelling. I couldn't wait to try it. It was good, so I thank him for that. So, if you ain't got something good to say to somebody, guys, to make their day, stay out of their way.